from cats landing on the feet to bulls seeing red. Here are 22 animal myths you fell for. 22. You eat spiders in your sleep. Now this particular myth and rumor was started intentionally in 1993 by a journalist named Lisa Holst. It was part of a story that described how the public would believe anything they read on the emerging internet. Now in this case, too many people swallowed the myth that we eat about eight spiders a year while sleeping. And for the record, spiders likely would not approach us while we're sleeping, given that we can toss and turn a lot. 21. Old Dogs and New Tricks You've no doubt heard that you cannot teach an old dog some new tricks, but it turns out that a best friend can still learn how to sit, roll over, play dead, or most other tricks regardless of their age. The saying is really more applicable to humans, especially those of us who have engaged in a certain pattern of behavior for so long that it would be difficult to change it. 20. Cutting Earthworms if you cut an earthworm in half, will the two halves grow into two separate and complete individuals? Well, the short answer is no. And that's because these animals have one end for taking in food and the other end for voiding it. The rear half cannot grow a new head, so the creature will simply die. However, there are certain species of flatworms that are known to regenerate lost body parts. 19. Healthy dogs have cold or wet noses. Not necessarily so. The degree of wetness or coldness is more an indicator of the dog's level of activity, not especially its condition of health. A wet nose can help the dog to better regulate its internal body temperature. The animals also have a layer of mucus on the nose that enhances their ability to smell. And part of the reason, and maybe you've noticed your dog licking the nose a lot, well, that's simply to keep the nose clean and to gather scent particles to sample whatever it is they might be smelling. 18. Owls can do a 360-degree head tan. Well, it often seems that way, but it's not true. Owls do need to turn their heads to see since they cannot rotate their eyes. Because they don't actually have eyeballs, their eyes instead have a tube-like shape and are held fixed in position by bones. Experts do say the most that owls can swivel their heads would be about 270 degrees. 17. Owls are wise. And continuing on with these birds, they always seem to be associated with wisdom. In fact, such portrayals can be found going back to ancient Greece. But are the birds really so wise or so smart? Well, experts say that while owls are top-notch hunters, they're really no more intelligent than any other birds. In fact, when compared to crows, these critters really are at the back of the class. 16. Groundhogs predict the weather. According to the legend, the groundhog emerges from hibernation on February 2nd each year, and it either sees its shadow, meaning six more weeks of winter, or it does not, meaning that spring is just around the corner. So how much faith should you put in the famous Puxitani Phil? Well, more than you might have guessed. The rodents will eat about a third of the weight in preparation for hibernation. Now, after hibernating, they are sensitive to variations of light and temperature which are a couple of components that help in determining the weather. So it would appear this myth would have some basis in actual fact, at least according to certain sources. 15. Daddy long legs are venomous. Now, in fact, this myth says that these arachnids have the most potent venom of any spider species. Such is not the case, however. Daddy long legs are venomous, but the toxin is very weak. The effect upon a human would likely be no more severe than a mild burning sensation, and that would quickly pass. There's no evidence to suggest, in fact, that these spiders have ever harmed humans. 14. Koalas are bears. Now, these cuddly critters do kind of resemble teddy bears, and they're native to Australia. But outside of Oz, you likely would not hear the terms koala and bear connected together. About the only thing the two species have in common, in fact, is that they're both mammals. 
Koalas are marsupials, like kangaroos and wombats. The misnomer is the result of European settlers in the 18th century calling it a bear due to the animal's appearance and behavior. And in fact, they can exhibit some bear-like behavior, because koalas are known to turn ferocious when resisting capture. 13. Chameleons use color as camouflage. Now, these lizards have a reputation for evading predators by blending into the background by virtue of their ability to change the body color. But did you know these critters are pretty fast? According to some sources, they are able to run more than 20 miles an hour, depending on the species. And since they can't escape many predators by running, changing the color would likely be plan B when it comes to evasion. Many scientists say that chameleons change the color as a means of communicating the moods or social signals transmitted to one another. 12. Elephants never forget. Now, this one is a classic, and while it does have a mythical status, it is actually true. Research has confirmed that the huge creatures really do have some remarkable memories. While never forgetting might be a bit of a reach, Elephants have demonstrated the ability to recognize each other after having been separated for more than 20 years. 11. Ostriches bury the heads. Now, ostriches really do bring the heads close to the ground, but it's not so they can bury their heads in the sand, because they'd only end up suffocating themselves. Ostriches are known to stick their heads in the sand to swallow pebbles and sand, which can help aid in their digestion. More often than not, when these creatures feel threatened, they'll simply turn tail and run. 10. Bulls see red. More often than not, we are bought into the misconception that the bull is angered by the color of the kite. But the color red does not upset the big beasts any more than any other color, because they are in fact color blind. It's really the size and motion of the kite that actually gets the blood boiling. The cape is thought to be colored red, by the way, as a way to mask the animal's wounds. 9. Bats are blind. Has anyone ever told you that you are blind as a bat? Well, you can now take that as a compliment because the statement is not so. While many microbat species have visual acuity that is unremarkable, no species is actually blind. The bat's eyes tend to be small and underdeveloped, but they can see to varying degrees. Now, in fact, they can use their eyes in conjunction with the sonar, or echolocation, to navigate greater distances. And megabat species like the flying fox, well, they can have eyesight on par with us, and sometimes even better. 8. Earwigs live in your ears. Now here's a myth that might make your skin crawl because it involves an insect crawling into your ear and taking up residence there. That story has been around since ancient times, and in fact, that's one way how earwigs got the name in the first place. Now, there is some bad news here. The insects have been known to crawl into people's ears. However, there is no evidence that they've ever harmed a human in so doing. So chalk this one up as a myth, mostly. 7. Black Panther is a separate species. A lot of people believe that this is a separate species of big cat, but it's actually a variation on two cats that are notable in their own right, leopards and jaguars. The difference is too much melanin. An overabundance of the dark pigmentation results in that sleek black appearance. So, in Africa, the creature called a black panther is really a melanistic leopard. In the Americas, it's a melanistic jaguar. And if you look closely at these animals, you can often detect the spots and markings of their particular species. 6. Bears hibernate in winter. Now, we had a little bit of a debate about this one, because some sources claim that wild species, including the American black bear and grizzly bear, will take an extended winter break, they do not truly hibernate. And that's because they do not sleep all the way through it. Rather, bears enter a state of torpor, from which they can quickly and easily awaken. Now, other sources claim that bears do in fact hibernate during winter, as their metabolism slows and the heart rate drops from 55 to 9 beats per minute. Still, other sources claim that bears enter into 
multiple bouts of torpor characterized by prolonged inactivity and a reduction in metabolism and body temperature, and that this can be defined as hibernation. So, what do you think? Tell us in the comments. 5. Porcupines can shoot the quills. The prickly rodents are known for the sharp quills. In fact, the Latin name translates as quill pig. When threatened, those quills rise up as a deterrent to predators. But the porcupines cannot aim and shoot the quills as was once thought. However, they will detach easily if touched. And once lodged in, they're difficult to extract. 4. Flamingos are pink. The birds are known for the pink coloration, but they are not born with that color. They start off with gray feathers. The trademark coloration is the result of their diet in the wild. They eat brine shrimp and blue-green algae, which contain a natural pink dye. Flamingos kept in zoos are fed a synthetic dye to maintain that illusion. 3. Lemmings leap off cliffs. Lemmings are very little gerbil-like rodents that have been the subject of several misconceptions over the ages. In the 16th century, the animals were thought to fall out of the sky during rainstorms. In modern times, the creatures have become the subject of a myth that they engage in a ritual of mass suicide by migrating to and jumping off of cliffs. Now that misconception actually stems from a wildlife documentary from the 1950s that staged a scene of the rodents jumping off of cliffs in an apparent suicide. But there is actually no proof of this behavior in the wild at all. 2. Camels store water in the humps. Now, these critters are known to survive seven days without drinking water. But it's not because they store water in the hump, or humps, depending on the species. That hump actually stores fat, which can give the animal an amount of energy equivalent to three weeks of food. Experts say that camels can thank the tolerance for dehydration to the blood cells, which have an oval shape as compared to the usual circular variety. 1. Cats always land on the feet. Now, actually, this one can be true, but it's the height of the fall that plays a big role in determining whether or not they can land without injury. A cats possess an innate ability to reorient the bodies during freefall. That's a process called the writing reflex. Now, thanks to that, felines that fall from farther distances, say more than five floors, actually have a better chance of surviving than those animals that fall only a few stories. The longer freefall gives the cat more time to right the body and safely land on the feet.